Do not skip the intro on this video because I gotta tell you something really important, but not as important, I will say real quick, the winner from the last giveaway is announced in the description of this video. Now the important thing, one of our fellow fishermen, Taylor Ramsey, super cool dude, was out tuna fishing. Now, if you saw the thumbnail on this video and it got your attention, it did its job because that's exactly what I'm trying to do with this thumbnail. I want you to be here because I want to tell you guys something that's really important. Taylor was out tuna fishing with some friends and he wasn't feeling hot. Everyone kind of thought maybe it was seasickness or dehydration or something like that. A uh, really bad headache. He didn't get better later throughout the day. That night, not better. And the next day, even worse. So he went to the hospital and they found out it was a tumor, I believe in the back of his brain that was bleeding. They did emergency brain surgery. Uh, they got it, they took care of him, got him all put back together, and now he is on his way to a full recovery, which is awesome. Now the reason I'm sharing this information with you is because there's a GoFundMe page. Uh, Taylor's a really, really good dude. Every interaction I've ever had with him has been great. And he's just, if fishing's a small community. A lot of people, everyone knows everyone, and it'd be cool if when stuff like this happens, people can come together. I've seen it happen in the past, so that's why I put this uh, in the beginning of my tuna fishing video that I'm making right now. And that's to kind of spread it. If you can donate something, the link's in the description to the, do to the GoFundMe page. And before someone comes out saying, oh, you're just making this for views, which someone will say. I mean, I don't really care if someone says it because I'm doing it to help out a homie. Um, whatever this video set makes, we'll say in like the first month, that's when most of my videos make most of their money. Uh, through YouTube and I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly what it is. We'll give it a month from when I post the video Whatever this video makes I'll uh, I'll donate straight to Taylor uh, I, As long as GoFundMe doesn't take a percentage, which I don't think they do I'll just donate it right on the GoFundMe page so you guys can all see that so could be 50 bucks could be 500 bucks could be a thousand bucks for this one video depends how the video does but that's it, Taylor. Hope you've got start feeling better, get a good recovery, and get back out there with Rob and all the other boys that you guys always fish with. You guys absolutely kill it. Good luck, dude. Oh, that's him. There were a couple like decent ones. Bub 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 bird machine. Look at all them birds. Got little weed line, birds working. We're marking tunas down below, but we're getting like black fin marks, not really big yellow fin marks. We're not giving up. We are not giving up. these birds for a little while not really getting anything on the troll we whip the popper out there and we're still marking it kind of stuff here got them got them hooked up it could be a little skippy or a black fin or a small yellow I think we're gonna have to just pull them in. There we go. This is the Tsunami Surface Blaster. That's the popper I'm using. Scott, drop down. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, get one. that jig going. Real quick. 
It looks really good under us. Drop it down like a hundred and... You were like all over it. Yeah, because I want you guys to get Ooh, now Scott's getting the jig going. Go down I mean, like a little over 100 if you oh, can figure that out. Look at those tail shakes on that rod. Come on, buddy. So the gear we're using here is the Tsunami Saldex 6000 with the Tsunami Carbon Shield 2 popping rod. And we're throwing the Tsunami Popper, the Surface Blaster. Hopefully we get this fish in. Do you want me to go forward a little bit? Or you still no, no, we're good. I'll just let them do circles. Okay. You did that. I good got stuff. color. Turn the engine. No rush, Connie. We're good. We're good. No, he wanted him. Good. I see him. Oh, he's so pretty. That thing smoked as soon as it hit the water. I hope it's a black fin. I cannot believe we're getting like great passes. It looks like a skippy. Nope, it's a black fin. Yeah, one more maybe. Go behind the line, behind the line. There we go, Connie's got him. It's a nice heat shot. I'm gonna hold him. Keep on the gap, keep on the gap. There we go. That's our first tuna for the day on the Tsunami Surface Blaster with the 6000 Salt X and Carbon Shield Popping Rod. Like it's nothing. Those little birds that are probably not even showing up on the GoPro are following the tuna. The tuna push the fish up from down deep and then the birds attack them from above. So the tuna push the bait fish up I'm talking about. And that's how we were able to get that one on the popper. We could throw the popper again, but if we really want some bigger yellow fins. And even if we hook one on the spin rod, it'd take a really long time. There's a lot of birds, there are tons of birds. Found another pack. We got birds over there. Bird, we're kind of all around birds right now. And of course the shotgun got whacked. There you go. It might be decent. That's so strange. It's like a flasher coming in. Yeah. Got them coming in now. Next up, Yellowfin. Getting back on them. Got all the birds up there. Oh, they're diving. There's a blow up. Didn't look super big, but we got fish blowing up there. A couple rods out the back. Let's get this camera up here. Get ready for some action. Gotta show Connie's lunch. What are you eating? Did that scare you? A little bit. You never know, he jumps on the boat. What are you eating? Tuna fish. That's how you catch tuna. You must eat the tuna to catch the tuna. But then it goes back to the age old question. What came first? The tuna or the tuna sandwich? No, that's not true. Obviously the tuna Tuna sandwich came first. We got another one on. This one is staying deep. We're hoping it's the right one. We're putting the camera up and getting ready. I think 
What's that? Yeah, if you, I'm going to try to keep you over here, Scott. You, know, you shouldn't have to climb unless you go psycho. The yellow. Well, let's get it in the boat. Forward and the hair forward. That's what we wanted right there. Oh, look how pretty. That is so cool. That one will go in the box. Oh, hold it up. Wait, I got one on Connie's phone. We put so much time and energy and money into these fish that it's really important to take good care of them. So right away, not on video, we hit it with a bat to kill it, but that's not very video friendly. And then we bled them, which will help the meat quality. See his little fins twitching, he's done. Then we're gonna go ahead and get him in the ice bath. This is that tuna we just caught. Just kidding. This is the Mike Ambinder special. Pressure cooked skipjack that Connie made into delicious sandwiches.